Holy Spirit, I need you. Holy Spirit, hold my hand. Brethren, we are all welcome today. Thank you so much for your presence. Thank you so much. We say thank you for your presence. We know that we have tuned on. We are together. And uh, we are sorry for the delay because of technical issues. But uh, we are on by God's grace. And uh, we are moving on. We are marching on in Jesus' name. We're still waiting for you. Please invite more. Share. You don't share the man of God, the man of God, you share the word of God, the work of God across. Please share them more, share them more. We are in together for today's uh, online Thursday service. Please, we're still waiting for you. Thank you so much for the effort, for your presence. Thank you so much for the dedication. Thank you so much for the sacrifice. Thank you so much because you are buying in the vision. We are running with the vision. And indeed, through us together, the church of God, of Jesus Christ, is marching on. And the gate of hell shall not prevail in Jesus' name. Thank you so much. Thank you. We give you a few minutes once more for you to share, for you to share, to invite them more. Please, please, this is the time to do the work of evangelism. Evangelism, yes. Evangelization is through you and me. We are doing it. We are together in Jesus' name. The Holy Spirit is in us, with us, upon us, among us, and are waiting for us to be on our post so that he can release and glorify Jesus Christ among us in Jesus' name. In this time, in this perilous time, in this age of lockdown for the church, we are marching on in Jesus' name. Thank you, people of God. We are waiting for you. We are waiting for you. Thank you so much for the effort you are making. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes, we can see the number is increasing. Yes, we can see the number is increasing. Yes, like, share. Yes, like, share. And tell us from where are you tuning? For, from where are you joining us? Yes, please, please, we are waiting for you. Yes, from the north, the south, the east, the west, please let us join together. We are in Christ Jesus today to impact the world, to overcome the world, to conquer the world, and to destroy the work of Jezebel in this end time in Jesus name when they thought that they will close us down is the time whereby God has come and reshuffle everything from within and take us into the deeper intimacy to release a new wine a fresh oil yes people of God we are marching on in Jesus name in Jesus name yes thank you Lord thank you praise to Father Jehovah Glory to the Lord Jesus Christ and all the honor, the power, the glory, the majesty to Most High God Jehovah. 
thank you, Holy Spirit. Glorify the Lord Jesus Christ among us. Usher us in the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, usher us in Father Jehovah. Thank you, Lord. Release your presence by the power, by the power, and by your mercy. Today, you have renewed, oh Lord, your love. You have renewed, oh Lord, strength through us. This morning you renew your mercy also that we shall be able to stand your holiness. By the blood of Jesus Christ, qualify us, O Lord, through us, O Lord, the world. Saturate this atmosphere by the blood of Jesus Christ, O Lord. Saturate the atmosphere of the church, of the land, of the generation right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, O Lord. Let the angel commission to minister to us today be, O Lord, here and minister to us. Touch your people. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, O Lord. Send forth your word now, O Lord, and heal the church. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Yes, people of God, without further delay, today we will give you the anchor scripture. Yes. We are in the book of John, chapter 8, from verse 1 to 12. We are reading in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, John 8, from 1 to 12. Yes, people of God. John 8, tap it, tap it, tap it, share it. John 8, from 1 to 12. In Jesus' name we are reading. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And everyone went to his own house. But Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. Now early in the morning, he came again into the temple, and all the people came to him. And he sat down and taught them. Then the scribe and Pharisees brought to him a woman caught in adultery. And when they had set her in the midst, they said to him, Teacher, this woman was caught in adultery in the very act. Now Moses in the law commanded us that such should be stoned. But what do you say? This they said, testing him, that they might have something of which to accuse him. But Jesus stooped down and wrote on the ground with his finger, as though, as though he did not hear. So when they continued asking him, he raised himself up and said to him, He who is without sin among you, let him throw a stone at her first. And again he stooped down and wrote on the ground. Then those who heard it, being convicted by their conscience, went out one by one, beginning with the oldest even to the last. And Jesus was left alone and the woman standing in the midst. When Jesus had raised himself up and so, no one but the woman is said to her, Women, where are those accusers of yours? Has no one condemned you? She said, No one, Lord. And Jesus said to her, Neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. People of God, we praise God for this word. The Holy Spirit has spoken. Today's topic is the doctrine of Jezebel. The doctrine of Jezebel. Tap it, the doctrine of Jezebel. The doctrine of Jezebel. The doctrine of Jezebel. Yes, that, that is today's topic. The doctrine of Jezebel. Once more, we welcome you to our Thursday online service. Yes. Uh, most, uh, it will be a Bible study service. And God will help us. God will bless us too by His Spirit in Jesus' name. The doctrine of Jezebel. We want to see you writing down the doctrine of Jezebel. The doctrine of Jezebel. Yes, people of God. God has spoken and God is doing good to us in Jesus' name. God is doing very marvelous things among us in this time of lockdown. We are at the post so that when we come out, we become much stronger, much renewed, much refreshed. Yes, in Jesus' name. People of God, the doctrine of Jezebel. The people, but why the doctrine? What is the doctrine? From the beginning, people of God can see that God wants to talk to us today about deeper matters, about the substantial, about the substance of the church, the substance of 
is engagement with men. When we speak about doctrine, we see a set of, of belief, of be, a set of principle being, first of all, taught and being released either for a family, either for a group, either for a church or a, a political party, any organization, any organization without doctrine, there is no fulfillment, there is no platform for engagement, there is no responsibility, there is no commitment, there is no accountability. Yes, because doctrine define or give the substantial matter of existence in between a group of people or in between two people that are into engagement. A doctrine has to be, a set of law has to be released in order to govern what has to be established or released and established thereafter. Yes, people of God. This you can see from the beginning, God himself, from inception of reality of matters, when he decided to release the realm of all existence, people of God, there are laws which engage angels to God, there are laws which engage men to God, and there are laws which define relationship in between angels of God, there are laws which define relationship in between men to men, and men and creation. Is about doctrine, a set, a set of belief, a set of principle which has been released. Not only released, but first of all, being taught, then released for observation and applicability and application. Yes, people of God, we can see God has been saying from the beginning, from the beginning when He started the relationship with men, when He released men, God told men something very, very profound. He told him what to do. The first thing after he released man into the realm of existence, he taught man an observation, a principle. You can eat from every tree. You can eat from every tree. Yes, people of God. I want to, I want to, to, to substantiate what I'm saying by reading this verse in the book of Genesis. Genesis, Genesis 2, from 16 to 17. The Bible says this. Mm. Genesis 2. Genesis chapter 2 from 16 to 17. The Bible says this. And the Lord God commanded the man saying, Of every tree of the garden you may freely eat. From every tree of the garden you may freely eat. But of the tree, can you see? But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. Only these two verses. Only these two verses. When God established man, he released a doctrine. In between him and man, he said, it was a command. It was a principle. A principle which has to govern the two of them. He said that. And... The Lord God commanded the man saying, of every tree of the garden. So the garden ate many trees. God said, of every you can eat. But of the tree of the knowledge, it was a specific tree identified and giving it a specific name. Therefore, that tree as a function, it was the tree of knowledge of good and evil. The tree of knowledge of good and evil. It will, that is the tree of mango, avocado, oranges, and, and um, apple. But this is the tree of knowledge of good and evil. You shall not eat, for in the day that you eat of it, you shall surely die. What does it mean? The day you decide to touch that, you will activate something which is forbidden from you. Because that tree is... <laughs> the tree which is holding. Holding something which has to destroy you. Do not go there. Do not... Uh, uh, and that tree cannot come to you. You will be... The, if you go there, you let yourself being seduced, being attracted by it, you will therefore activate something which will destroy you. God has been so clear. It was a doctrine established. It was a set of belief, a set of principles established among them, released and established among them for so that men had to live and to be out of reach of death. Therefore, men has to do what has to obey. Can you see it was the teaching of obedience? 
teaching of faithfulness, teaching of humility, teaching of service. Only by, only by that command only. He has to teaching of discipline, teaching of self-control. Man has to, all this has built it means into the understanding, all this has to be observed by him. You can see what that is, what God released in between him and men. Men did not perform any acts yet. That is the apostolic dimension. That is the apostolic dimension God gave to God established among them. Because God because the doctrine is about the release of the apostolic. The apostolic, that is the release of the doctrine, the set of belief principle that has to govern. Govern a realm of existence. Then, by observing this principle, then you will be performing some act. We say that only by saying this, man has to release what? Has to release the, act, the action of obedience, of faithfulness, of discipline, of self-control. Mm-hmm. Can you see that? Of service. Only of peace. He has to be in peace with himself and with, with, with the one who gave him that command. Can you see that? So we can see that from there only God released two foundational matters which has to, which defines all realm of existence. It's the apostolic and the prophetic. The apostolic and the prophetic. That is the set of, that is the matrix. That is the, that is the substantial matter. The substantial matter which has before the manifestation, before the release of mighty acts, before the release of acts of God and act of man is the apostolic is the doctrinal aspect which has to be all the time has to be brought forth can you see and look at now that is only on in the verse 16 the 17 the bible says this but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat for in the day that you eat of it you shall surely die that is the apostolic when you that is the prophetic when now you get the command you get the principle the set of belief being taught to you and release and establish there is an agreement then act as to follow manifestation as to follow people of god as long as man was obeying controlling himself resisting to seduction and applying being faithful to what has been said is a set of action that is the prophetic death 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 was out of the vocabulary, out of the existence, out of the environment, out of the territory, out of the realm of men. Mm -hmm. Action are either positive action or negative action. Yes. When you release positive action, therefore all the benefits of which are governed or incarcerate or hidden into the laws which are principle of a specific doctrine will benefit you, will back up you, will empower you. Once you are back into the negative aspect of action, you are doing something contrary, contrary to what has been established. Therefore, also manifestation of the negative aspect will come. God released to him already, he showed to him, look at, as long as you will be you obey. Death cannot even manifest. But when you disobey, look at this. And God showed him. Remember what God said, I put behind of you life and death. Choose life. Choose life. Yes, people of God. In so doing, you can see that now, now it was so difficult. Why God said? Because God knew already what has been conceived in the realm of spirit. God knew already. God knew already what has been conceived in the realm of the spirit. And no, no. A twist, a manipulation took place into the heart of the one that has been anointed. God taught us on, on, on Sunday something very profound that, no, no. This spirit called Jezebel found manifestation, found conception, manifestation and release upon and in the one who is the incumbent, the one who is the, the storage place, the one God is entrusted with divine ability called the anointing. 
people of God, can I help you to understand? Each and every one of you, each and every one of us, has a specific anointing from God. Yes, people of God. Because the anointing is the ability given to the creature. But remember, all the creation has been created. An angel being anointed, not created. But when God was creating, man was into his bosom. Because man is the sum up of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Because into the council and the, in, the, in that council of let us make men, people of God, it was only the, ga- yeah, oh, the gathering of divinity. Divinity has to release only divinity. Reason why this spirit can be birthed out, out of any one of us. Because Satan knows that, no, no, into men there is divinity. But you do ignore. We do ignore. The church has ignored that dimension. Reason why Satan knew what to do. When God was telling Adam this, he was warning him because he knew what took place in spirit. Yes, people of God. Look at that day now in the book of Genesis 3. From 1 to 6, the Bible says this. Now the serpent was more cunning than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said to the woman, As God indeed said, you shall not eat of every tree of the garden. Can you see the twist? Look at this. He said, And he said to the woman, As God indeed said, you shall not eat, you shall not eat of every tree of the garden. We are only from reading now. What was God's word? God said, you shall eat of every tree. But look at the way he manipulated. He put a twist into the saying of God. Why? Because him, he cannot, he cannot create anything. He has only to steal from what has been established and put a seed there. People of God, we know very well, Jesus said that it's not what gets into men which can defy, but what, we, what comes out of men. He could not get anything out of Adam in order to twist, in order to take Adam out of God's will. Yes, people of God. He went to the woman and he put the twist. twist. First of all, he had to put a twist into the woman for the woman to release now the defilement. Mm. Yes, people of God. This is what we are saying. The bites of the serpent. The bite of the serpent from there by twisting. All the time when you're twisting the truth in order to put our own desire, desire, we are releasing the bite of the serpent. Man has become the serpent to himself. Man has become, why? Because man, when we are dropping down the threshold of faithfulness, of discipline, of obedience, of service, you want now to live according to your own norms established. People of God, the bite of the serpent will manifest. You'll be the one inducing the venom of Satan into others, into a set of belief, into a set of principle, so that the will, the likeness, the will of Satan, the likeness of Satan will take place. That is the manifestation of Jezebel. He put a twist there into the saying of God to the hearing of the woman. And what came out is seduction. It's very attractive. She said, hmm. So if I eat, and he emphasized the more, saying this. And he said to the woman, as God indeed said, you shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the the woman said to the serpent, we may eat the fruit of the trees of the garden. Ha! We may, can you see? Once a twist has got in, what will come out will be defiled already. Yes. Let me read again what God said in Genesis 2. God says this in Genesis 2, 16. And the Lord God commanded the man saying, Of every tree of the garden you may freely eat. But of the tree of the knowledge of the good and evil you shall not eat. For in the day that you eat of it you shall surely die. The twist from this, from sort of the manipulation, when I say the twist, is the manipulation, is the action which comes after an established principle. First of all, the choice. He never went to the man to whom it, he went to what came out of the man because it was pure. What came out of, of, out of men was so pure. He went to that, to her. Then he said to that woman, 
and the woman fall into the trap. It changed everything. Even a answer was not corroborating, was not rephrasing what God said, not at all. Satan got in. You can see the apostolic which has been released, the set of laws of belief and principle given to men and translate to the understanding of the woman because all, all, all along she has been living by eating from every tree of the garden. Now, now she changed. She changed people of God. What? The action. The action that is the prophetic. The action about the prophetic. The prophetic. The prophetic. The prophetic has been twisted from there and death got in. People of God understand all the time that the battle in this world, the church is where it is today. Why? Because the set of belief, the set of law, the governing laws released by God the Father to you men. And the action thereof, as long as it has been observed, people of God, it was so perfect and in harmony. Man being into God by the gate of knowledge in God, he knew whatever God has to release, whatever God has, whatever God did into the bosom of God, into the by the gate of knowledge, into the doors of everlasting of knowledge in God. He knew the name and the functionality of any creature. He came and released it as God established it. Yes, people of God. Now, any three. That is the apostolic into Adam. Now, when men named and each and every creature function, that is the prophetic because now each and every start to, to release what God has put in them. Look at now from that day when the fallen took place, things took place, things changed. Things changed. You can see it has been like that. It has been like that. It has been across the time, across ages, across time and ages, people of God. You will see, let me give you some example. A man like uh, the scenario of Cain and Abel. The scenario of Cain and Abel. How Cain, how Abel knew that, no, no, I have to offer, I have to offer to God the best of my sheep. And to offer as an offering to God. But this one, he went to take the crops and not the best one. And God warned him. What he was doing, it was also apostolic. But the motive was not good because he never chose the best. Yes, he was not ready to give the best to God. Look at now, God even warned him before to put an action. Why? Because a manipulation took place into his heart. Don't do that because by the door of your heart. Don't let, because if you can do better, don't let this evilness take place in you. God wants Cain, but Cain never obeyed. Can you see that all the time? God is so faithful because on his side is faithful. Listen why he does want us all the time before the wrong take place. Into each and every one, there is an apostolic and prophetic dimension. In each and every one, into the likeness and image of God. The problem is which kind of manipulation has taken place into your set of belief in between you and your God so that it shall define the rest of your prophetic action. Someone like Abraham. Abraham was the embodiment of the prophetic, the apostolic and the prophetic. The, prof the, the apostolic into Abraham manifested by the faith he had toward God without knowing anything, departing or by obeying and departing from his father's house, going to the unknown, into the unknown territory, but believing that God who spoke to me will be by me, with me, and is with me. I will conquer, I shall fulfill what he has said. Can you see that? And you can see now, when he believed that, he went without anything throughout the territory, he, he started re releasing prophetic action by raising altars, going miles away in order to step, walk throughout territory because God told him that your posterity will be slave, kept in captivity, in slavery in Egypt. He walked throughout Middle East up to Egypt. He stood in Egypt, he stepped in Egypt and walked out of Egypt with many treasures. It was prophetic action. And he filled 
the land, the promised land given to him by altars, by raising altars, prophetic action. Why? Because he knew that I'm the carrier of divinity. I'm the carrier of the seed, which is to fulfill God's will. You will see someone like Moses. Moses, after setting people free. Yes. After setting people free because he was continuing the promise, the promise given to Abraham. Now, now, God now has to define a new set of law. A new set. God has to revisit the doctrine. No more by faith. Now, I'm graduating you to another kind of intimacy. He called Moses in his presence and he wrote a set of law, a set of laws given to Moses. But because they've been governed, they've been led, they've been under the guidance of the law the law of faith which was in Abraham. God has to listen now, now start now to the opening up laws the, in, in a very practical way because God was opening up dimensions of intimacy to his people. So the people has to be more intimate to him. He wrote himself with his finger laws. He gave to Moses. But so Jezebel knew no, 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 this is too much. This is too much. Jezebel manipulated. Manipulated. Why? Because the aim of Jezebel is to take away. Take away. Take away. Take away. Take away men out of God's presence. And what? Standing at the place, and on the seat, on the altar of God, into God's presence. Uh, into man's presence. In between him, Jezebel, all the time, that spirit which comes to take place in between God and his people all the time. The Bible says that in Exodus 32, 33, you will see Moses coming down. Before he comes, God told him, look at what your people did because he was into the realm of revelation. He cannot miss that. He saw everything. You can see that all of, he was with Joshua, but Joshua was not to such, God, Joshua was not into the inner chamber. He was into the realm of divinity, but not into the inner chamber of intimacy in the realm of uh, divinity. Why? Look at God, after giving everything to Moses, and he told even Moses what was taking place down there. But to Joshua, it was a, the sound coming from the camp, it was people celebrating. But he said, no, 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 no. These are not people are celebrating. These are sound from sinful people. People have deviated from, the, from God's will. Can you see? In spirit, there are dimensions of intimacy also. We have to be humble enough to know where am I standing, what am I ranking, and at which threshold am I standing in God's presence? Yes. We can all of us be in God's presence, but this one sees only his back. This one sees his finger. This one sees only his foot. This one sees his face. This one sees not only the, the, the forehead, sees even the eyes. This one sees his, this one sees the full face. And even seeing his mouth opening up and speaking. We have to understand all these kind of dimension. Joseph. Joshua and Moses, they were in God's presence, but where they were not getting the same information. When he came, he was coming now to bring the apostolic in order to give the new motion into the exist, uh, 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 existent uh, uh, prophetic already, in order to, to, to give a new oil, a new wine, a new direction. When he came, the prophetic has been diluted, has been corrupted. Mm. it has been corrupted by then and he could not release it and you can see that for you to Jezebel was so strong Jezebel now even manipulating for him even to crash why? he crashed that law down wet on the ground he crashed it he crashed it he crashed it on the he crashed it he could not he could not be. why? all these corrupted people could not get access until repentance Unless they repent, then they will get access. Otherwise, that law would have not get access into the heart because their heart has been made dull, corrupted, hardened. Yes, people of God. Therefore, you can see that the territory, the territory of engagement in between the apostolic and the prophetic people of God is the heart of men. That is the true church. You and me. That is the true church. Yes, people of God. It's what God is taking us back today. It's the same process. God is taking us back today. Yes. 
all the time the apostolic comes is a substantial matter it's very pure it comes with a high energy high fire high power of divinity it comes the apostolic most of them comes with the raw divinity in order now to be diluted and find expression to release the prophetic the prophetic come now to adjust to call into manifestation to call into mighty act of god what to call into might of out of out of out, 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 out of god the substance the substance what hidden into the apostolic when he saw that moses broke everything and he could not until he called people to repentance then he went back again to god mm. 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 On God's side, all the time, God is so faithful, and God released again now through Him. He made it possible for men now to touch, to touch now, to release and to fulfill the God, the act of God. Can you see the people of God? When He has done so, the Bible says that the law has been made available to men. It, it, these are only examples I'm seeing the twist which is taking place into the journey of the apostolic and the prophetic yes people of god the bible says that in the book of first kings 19 from 1 to 2 i'm giving some examples so that to substantiate what god has released to us by god's grace so that we understand where are we standing where and each and every one has now to understand. In the first of First King 19, I'll just give you a, 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 a typology there. We know the story of, of Elijah. 19 from 1 to 2, the Bible says this. And Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah had done. Also how he had executed all the prophets with the sword. Then Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah saying, So let the God do to me and more also, if I do not make your life as the life of one of them by tomorrow about this time. Can you see the people of God? We know the story. Elijah came out. Elijah came out into a corrupted territory and he released judgment. He released a set of judgment. He lost a command. First of all, he locked the means of sustenance the rain by locking the rain so he called wilderness to extend into a greener pasture nothing being produced and thank you thank you dear brethren once more we are sorry for all these technical challenges by god's grace we are back and uh, we do believe that uh, you apologize to us accept our apology once more here we are back and ready to run together. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, glorify God, O oh Lord. Glorify Jesus Christ in our midst, O oh Lord. Let this word, O oh Lord, impact our hearts, reset our heart, is reset the church, and reset us in Christ Jesus, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Yes, people of God, the topic was, and still, the doctrine of Jezebel, the anchor scripture was John 8 from 1 to 12. And God has been telling us about the doctrine, what is the doctrine, the set of doctrine, and how God himself released the doctrine between him and Adam, and how the twist, the manipulation took place. Jezebel come and manipulates the doctrine established by God, and death got in. And God has been teaching us how this modus operandi of Jezebel has been traveling, journey, following, Try, trying and aiming all the time to weaken the intimacy between God and man through our generation. Why? Because Jezebel is aiming all the time to dethrone God from his place because he said he must put his throne above the throne of the Most High. And he wants now to govern and to take over the realm of uh, oh, the knowledge, the substance, the roots, the foundational power of the apostolic and the prophetic given to men by God so now God has been showing us how the apostolic all the time really the substantial aspect of matter of divinity and the prophetic come now to release the calling into manifestation the act the actions of what has been set and codified into the apostolic and God has been telling, telling us that that was 
what he has been releasing through our generation. God spoke about Abraham, what took place. God spoke about Moses. He's been telling us what took place with Moses. Then God was showing us at the time of Elijah, it was the same aspect. Because corruption took place too much in the book of 1 Kings 19 from 1 to 2. And we're reading in the name of Jesus Christ. And Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah had done. Also how he had executed all the prophets with the sword. Then Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah saying, So let the God do to me. And more also, if I do not make your life as the life of one of them by tomorrow about this time. Can you see people of God? He said, let the God do to me. Let the God do to me. So Jezebel, she knew already. She knew. She has his own God is that has to take place, take place and to dethrone the place of most high God. Jehovah. And she said, no, 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 no. She sent the message. She sent the word. A word to Elijah. God is showing us how Jezebel was all throughout growing into his plan and plot of twisting the will of God, twisting the apostolic in order to put the seed of corruption into the prophetic. Yes. Now, she said, my God is, my God has to punish me if I don't manage to destroy the prophetic which took manifestation into the land. Why? Because Elijah came and Elijah came, he never recalled people back to the Apostolic, it came order to release the prophetic, the prophetic manifestation. That is the judgmental power of God, the judgmental power of the Most High God. He came, he locked it down, he locked the heaven, and then he destroyed all the corrupted prophets, the prophet of Baal. Then he rose up the altar into the territory, and judgment came, the fire came down. These are actions, these are prophetic acts prophetic action a true prophetic ministry works with actions with acts yes people of god do not be do not be dismayed do not be uh, manipulated by wrong saying of people what is this what no people of god the prophetic is about the manifestation of the mighty acts of god we first mighty act, there is not the prophet. The prophet is not about saying no, it's about establishing matters. We told you, you saw God they revealed to us, God they showed it into the Bible. We you will not say anywhere where Abraham prophesied. But Abraham was a great prophet. Why? Because he released only the mighty act of God. Raising altars throughout and walking into the territories and going and conquering Pharaoh. What he has done, it was a prophetic act which has to define the release of the sons of God, of the people of God, no matter what Satan can do, as long as it has been said by God and called into manifestation through act by Abraham, Satan cannot do anything. No matter, even it was a delay of beyond 400 years, 430 people of God have been set free. Now that day, Jezebel understood, no, 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 no. The action was too much because when his husband Ahab went to talk to him, he said, no, 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 no. We have to bow down. We have to, 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 to let go. We have to confess. We have, we, we are defeated. She said, no, 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 no. Because she knew that this, this spirit has been conceived into the realm of divinity. She went back. She said, my God. Look at what she said. 19. And I have told Jezebel all that Elijah had done. Also how he had executed all the prophets with the sword. Then Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah saying. Sent a messenger to Elijah saying. So let the God do to me and more also. Hmm. Not, not God. Jehovah, Lord, the God, more of a God, as to punish issues does not fulfill their wills, based on what has taken place into the territory. Ah. If I do not make your life as the life of one of them by tomorrow about this time, death. I have to release death upon you because of what you have done. Anyone working into the mighty act of God truly, faithfully, into the territory, destroy the of Satan. Is someone Satan wants only to kill? And Satan will not come with uh, Satan will release 
all the mighty power of his goddess, of his power, in order to destroy one, the one who's standing by the gate of destiny to set people free, to say that the gate of hell shall not prevail. In what Elijah was doing, the gate of hell shall not prevail. Yes, because the gate of hell prevail how? When? By the gate. By the gate. By the gate is where? Mystery of apostolic and prophetic are taking place. Because from the doors of everlasting doors, they have to come now and by the gate they have to be called into manifestation. Yes, people of God. Because all the doors, all the everlasting doors are are the channels, are the corridors through which the apostolic being released and carried and brought to men. Now they have to find expression into the realm of reality, of existence through the prophetic. Yes, people of God, understand this today. And is what Satan is fighting. Jezebel, that day she saw, she saw that Elijah, what Elijah has done is too much and people now they are ready to confess and repent. People are ready to confess because they've seen the mighty power of the most high God, Jehovah. So I cannot, I have now only to fight this one. The one who brought this revival. There is no revival into the land. There's no revival into a family. There's no revival into a territory. There's no revival into a generation without the true apostolic and the prophetic conquering by the gate of destiny. Yes, people of God, is what took place that day. She said, no, 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 no. I cannot do so. Which kind of God she consulted? Which kind of God she drew a power from? Which kind of God which she has to read in order to silence Elijah that day? Which kind of God? Is what God has shown us with oh, whatever which took place into the counsel of God in Isaiah 14. 12 and 13, people of God. Isaiah 14, 12 and, and, uh, and 14, the five eyes of, of, uh, of, uh, uh, of Jezebel, the five eyes of Satan. If, if we can read it, because uh, we are online, I have to read it. In Jesus' name, look at Isaiah 14 from 12. How you are fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning. How you are cut down to the ground, you who weaken the nations. For you have said in your heart, for you have said in your heart, why? I will ascend into heaven. He is a, a goddess of Jezebel. The second, I will exert my throne above the stars of God, another goddess of. I will also sit on the mount of the congregation, another goddess of Jezebel. Fifth, uh, um, um, I will ascend above the height of the clouds. Fourth one. Fifth one. I will be like the most high. All these are the gods to, to whom Jezebel was paying allegiances. The five eyes of Satan are goddesses which are governing the world of darkness. The power of Satan. Because they are coming to dismantle the grace of God upon uh, in between the grace of God upon humankind, upon his likeness and his image. Therefore, they are substituting, they are taking the place of God to establish their own. Yes, people of God. This power, they are only aiming to do what? To destroy men. This power, they are aiming to dislodge God out of his throne. This power, they are breaking intimacy. This power, they are calling into manifestation in the physical realm, another kind of God is than the most high God. He said, why he thought if, if you eat, you will be like. Yes, people of God, understand today. The five eyes that Lucifer conceived in the, the five kind of divinity that are governing the world of darkness from these more manipulation you can see that day when he said to, he said he sent the messenger the messenger is not described the messenger is not given we don't know which kind of word he said, no no he said the messenger has been sent with the word to kill by this time tomorrow i will do to you what you have done mm. because he knew she knew where she was standing in order to kill to call that in manifestation as a 
spiritual men, Elijah understood. But look at, he ran. Why? Because it brought fear into her. No more boldness, no more faith. Boldness, faith has been destroyed into him. He ran for his own life. Why? Because he was no more relying on God. The set of belief has been destroyed. So what? She attacked what? She attacked the apostolic which was backing all the action of Elijah by releasing that such, such word. She attacked the substantial power which was behind Elijah. And Elijah feel being dethroned, he feel being disempowered. And she, she, what? she released a punch. She released a punch into his countenance and he ran away. He ran away, people of God. You will see from there on, Elijah was no more bold and he was not even ready to release the mantle upon others, upon anyone. I'm telling you, he ran even the one that availed himself. Elijah made him suffer before to, to get the mantle. And he never released it, but God took it away from him because it has been given to humankind already. He told him, only when you see me, Monty, he was not willing. Why? Because of the messenger sent out by Jezebel toward him. Is what has been brought to the church. Is where, is that is the doctrine, is the technique Jezebel is using across generation in order to destroy those of God that are so bold to overcome him by the gate of destiny. Yes, people of God. When he cannot... He said he cannot touch your, your, your prophetic mantle. He will go. He will go in order to punch, in order to dismantle, in order to release a crack into the foundational power of your apostolic dimension. Yes, people of God. Listen, why you, you, you ask, why Elijah never released? Many prophets were there. Plenty, he had many, many sons. All of them, they, today they will say they had the revelation, but they could not be backed up. Because without the backup of the apostolic, your prophetic will be corrupted. Your prophetic will be weak. Your prophetic will not have, uh, establish, will not change, will not carry the fullness of the mandate of God easily. Will, your message will not carry divinity. Why? Because it will bring corruption. Is what is that? That is the doctrine. Jezebel manage. To bring into church we are where we are today why because jezebel managed to do what to create a disjunction dysfunctionality no more flow in between the apostolic and the prophetic why she released she released a messenger a messenger has been released upon the church and in the church you will see into, into the church of Elijah, Elijah could not release easily the mantle. Therefore, the aim is to destroy the legacy, the divine legacy God has given to humankind. He made Elisha to walk from Gilgal. In between there, Gilgal, Jericho, up to the crossing, crossing the, 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 uh, 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 the river there, he suffered a lot until when he saw him going up, the Bible said that the mantle fall, the double portion fall. Why? Because Jezebel know. Jezebel knows that anyone that is carrying a mandate has to be out better than himself, best than himself. But Satan has to know which one will carry this mandate and he has to destroy. He will only attack the one who come with the high and very raw prophetic act which dismantles Satan into the territory. You will see from that day, Elisha was no more, Elijah was no more bold as before. Why? Because his apostolic has been, has been punched. Has been shut down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, people of God. Reason why the church has been corrupted. Reason why the church has been weakened. Yet yeah, the prophetic was into manifestation, but being invaded and poisoned by what? By the bite of the serpent. The five eyes of Satan, conceived in the art of Lucifer, took place. Each and every sentence, each and every proclamation of Satan here. 
brought forth which invaded the church, people of God. Yes. The church has been attacked at its heart, at its foundation. Because Jezebel has done the dichotomy of the church and understood, no, 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 no. This foundation has to be weakened so that, no, 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 I have only to target one. Therefore, I will control the manifestation. I have to stop the flow in between the apostolic and the prophetic so that now I will manage the manifestation. Church has been so much has grown into the manifestation which does not bring substance, which does not carry substance, therefore not releasing life, everlasting life. What does it mean? It means what? The everlasting doors which are carrying the raw divinity so that it is to be purified and being released to the prophetic for creative power, for the creation, for divinity to be the best portion given to men has been stopped. And Jezebel took control of the act. You can see now the false prophet rose up. The false manifestation of signs and wonders. Everything has become entertainment. And the church it is where it is today. Why? Because he saw that day that Elijah, what he has done, all people, people the whole nation were ready to confess and repent. No, so he said, I cannot allow that. I cannot, I have to deny this. I have to release a strong statement. A messenger has been released. A messenger, yes, has been released because of his God is suit up. If you don't do so, we will not find a place. We will lose the ground. Not only the ground, the territory and the people. People of God, each and every one of these sentences. I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will also sit on the mount of the congregation, on the farthest side of the north. I will ascend above the height of the cloud. I will be like the most high God. All these came to take and release a new set into the manifestation of the prophetic. Five aspects. Yes. They came to take. They came to to release, to poison the prophetic with the sorcery, the wizardry, the magic, the witchcraft, and the occultism. I repeat, the sorcery took place in the church, poison the prophetic, the wizardry, poison the prophetic, yes, people of God, the magic, poison the prophetic, yes, the witchcraft, poison the prophetic, and the occultism. These we can see where are they, the root of these are from what Satan conceived in his heart in the heavenlies. Reason why we have to know where are we today? Why this today? We have to be able to do the true anatomy, the dichotomy of the state of the church. Why are we into lockdown? And why now God is calling us, God has allowed this for us to come back. Why? The good news is. The apostolic still there is the prophet which has been manipulated but not destroyed. Isn't why we have to go back. Yes, people of God. You see, many prophets have been corrupted. Why? Because of this. Satan will only come all the time and propose to them these five. And he got in. And the church will suffer. Is how now, bit by bit, but surely the move of God has ceased, has become now the manifestation of the satanism into the church. Corruption took place. Yes, people of God, that is the reality of the church. That is the doctrine Jezebel has brought. Without getting, by God's grace, the understanding, the deeper sight in order to see and where is the poison, we cannot get healed. The church cannot be healed. We will continue into the same modus operandi, thinking that we are serving God, but we are perpetuating the works of Jezebel because they are alike. Mm -hmm. You will see those of Satan 
mimicking deliverance, mimicking prophecy, mimicking healing, mimicking everything by manipulation. Yes, people of God. It's very dangerous. It's what Jesus did that day. He has done it that day. That day. Into the book of Matthew. The Bible says that Matthew 21. That was the anchor scripture of Sunday. Look at what Jesus has done that day. Because all of these, you will see that they took place easily into church. In the book of Matthew 21, verse 12, the Bible says that, Then Jesus went into the temple of God and drove out all those who bought. All those that who did what? Who bought and sold in the temple. Ah! He drove out all those who bought and sold. So to buy, the church has become the place where you can buy. You can buy medium in order to manifest divinity. You can sell medium in order to manifest divinity. It's where we are today. The church has become where, the place where we are not being taught the word of God, the ways of God and prayer. But we are looking for alternative in order to manifest divinity. Can you see that why the substance has been stopped? The manifestation has been corrupted. The apostolic has been stopped by the gate and we invade and corrupt and puzzle the, the prophetic because the process, pro pro prophetic is about manifestation, calling into action what God has conceived, what God has said as a set as principle and taught principle. Now we twist. How to twist? We have to buy medium. We have to sell medium from Satan in order to reach the heart of man because the heart of man is delighted by seeing the calling into manifestation of the mighty act of God that is the prophetic mm -hmm. we have to understand this too when we understand these people of God that is healing is how we have to heal the church only then the gate of hell shall not prevail why because God never allow Jezebel to touch the apostolic. Therefore, Jezebel cannot conquer because the raw matter is being governed by God into the apostolic. And Jesus, he, he saw that no, no, the boat, the, now the temple of God has become the place where they are buying. So he drove out all those who bought and sold in the temple. And what? By buying and selling, you are getting into, because buying and selling, you are doing, you are doing a trading by the table. Trading, you are exchanging. You are getting into relationship. You are getting into covenant. You are getting into intimacy. You are establishing an altar. You are establishing a new set, a new path. That is, we have to follow. The reason why you can see that when, if the seed has got into the forefathers, if the seed has got, so as, as long as no one comes and break it, it will flow. Jesus came now. What he has done? The Bible says that he overturned the table of the men money changers and the seat of those who sold doves. Mm. Yes, people of God. To overturn the table of money changes. To overturn the table of many changes. Is to come and break. Cut down. Destroy. And crush. The altars which are perpetuating. Allowing Jezebel to carry on with corruption into the church. Is coming to break the narrative of word exchange. Remember, Jezebel sent a messenger. A messenger. So we have to bring a new word, a new message, which, which has to reset holiness, fear of the Lord, and boldness, so that the prophet, the prophetic, has to reconcile with the apostolic in order for the true divinity to impact people and the territory is what satan is fighting of the money change of those that are selling what selling the doves 
Dove is the symbol of holiness, symbol of sanctity, symbol of, of purity, symbol is the symbol of the Spirit of God in the church. They have become, they came with the substitute. Remember, he wanted to, to put his seed uh, to be like most high, to be like most high, to be like the Spirit of God, to be like God. Listen, why many churches are not the dwelling place of the Holy Spirit? Why? Because the money changers have taken the seat and are selling out the dove. Yes, people of God. There is no one who Satan can do whatever to get as the one who is truly anointed by God. Satan will do by all means how to win him back. How to get him in his camp. So that now, whoever, remember, is a shepherd commission put ahead of sheep. All the sheep will get lost. Now, only the apostolic. When this one said, no, 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 no. We know where we're coming from. We, we do the dichotomy of the church, the anatomy of the church, to see where we are failing. It's not about what the forefathers has established. We don't have to blame them. We are, we are seeing the spirit which has brought corruption. How will you see this? You will see that. No, 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 no. If the same modus operandi which was into Elijah, May Elijah got fear, he ran away, and he could not release legacy easily. You can see it's the same pattern. The forefathers, they've got into church, now they are afraid to release those God has appointed. They're releasing to those them they want. The church has become family business. Church has become a gathering of people of the same tribe, people that not. Can you see? Even when your son is not being called to ministry because he's your son, by you, you appoint him. Jezebel, these are works of Jezebel. You can see the same seed that fall into Elijah. Elijah could not even release, not even one. He went down, went, he died with the anointing, fully. God has to make sure that a corpse has to come and release because it has been on there for it. A corpse has to come and catch that mantle. Mm -hmm. Is what has weakened the church, is what has destroyed the church. That is the doctrine of Jezebel being carried out. Jesus is only showing us one way. One way is to break, to break the pattern which Satan came to and enforce into the prophetic. You will see if we see the age and the growth of the church after the, the evangelical, uh, 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 um, ev uh, evangelical wave, the pastoral wave, then the prophetic wave came. The strong prophetic wave. The last move, it will be the apostolic prophetic. Apostolic prophet. You know, God is, really, uh, is raising, you will see the prophet that having a very strong mantle of the apostolic. Why? In order to destroy Jezebel. You see, how come, because people are not used to the prophet that can teach and reveal the mystery through the word. Because you've seen the huge move on people that are prophesying, but now you can see that it's the raising, the raising, the raising, the raising of a huge apostolic and prophetic mantle into one. You say, which one? What, what, what is it? You'll see the four, the, the five, the five fold of ministry being manifest into one ministry. Why is God doing so? Is an empowerment in order to destroy Jezebel. Mm -hmm. Yes, people of God. The church of God is prevailing indeed. The church of God is marching on. The church of God is empowered the church of god is conquering the church of god is overcoming by the gate of destiny jezebel in this end time in jesus name you know why god has called us into intimacy today god has allowed the church to stop and go back to do the dichotomy there is no one that cannot assess and see why are we here why where did we fail where have we been weakened if we begin from outside or from within, what should we do? This time, the lockdown which happened into the world, into South Africa, into our locality, into our community, into our vicinity, is a collapse. It's an opportunity God has given us. Why? Because we've been corrupted. We've been called into adultery, spiritual adultery. 
The church has masturbated with Jezebel in order to release a corrupted seed, a corrupted child. And God said, no, 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 no. This cannot continue. Which legacy? This is not the legacy of Christ Jesus. This is not the legacy of Jesus Christ. No, it's what, what is in Christ Jesus that don't correspond to what Jesus Christ has released. As long as what is in Christ Jesus is pure, what has to come out is pure because what is established in spirit has to prevail. As long as Jezebel has been cast away, chased away, out of heavenlies, out of heaven, out of God's presence, Jesus came to fulfill that and he has won for you and me to continue. He never came and win as an angel, as a spirit, as a human being. Mm. The likeness and the image of God is the dwelling place of the raw material of the apostolic and the prophetic into humankind, not to the angel. The angel will be there in order to support the manifestation thereof. Yes, people of God, this is what you can see is a matter of heart. Whatever took place, it took place into the heart. The temple Jesus was cleaning up, it was cleaning the heart of men. The heart of men. If Satan has managed to take away the Holy Spirit, the intimacy to destroy, the intimacy between God and men, is what Jesus came to reset. He start by following the path and fulfilling whatever Moses established, whatever Elijah established. Then going back to what Lucifer destroyed into the heart of men. That is, you can see that what Lucifer did, it was he set and sold out the doves. That is to dislodge the intimacy of the Holy Spirit. God is telling you and me today in this scripture, the anchor scripture of today, we are closing. John 8. The Bible says this. From verse 1. But Jesus went to the Mount of Olive. Now early in the morning, he came again into the temple. He came again into the temple. And all the people came to him and he sat down and taught them. 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 Doctrine is a set of belief and principle being taught thought then release being taught then release the house of god is the place whereby we have to go and being taught is where this ways then pray he taught them he taught them the church of this time is the apostolic church is the church which comes to teach first of all the divine doctrine yes not the doctrine of the fathers, the doctrine of Father Jehovah. Yes, people of God. Then the scribe and the Pharisees brought to him a woman caught in adultery. Why? Because they saw that he was teaching, he was establishing what has been destroyed, what has been, he was calling to order, he was fixing. Then they have to bring in manipulation. Is the same modus operandi. Yes. What Satan told Eve. He came to twist. Look at what they said. And they set her in the midst. He was teaching. They came with a woman. A woman. They came with a woman in. Why all the time the symbol of, of a woman? Listen why across ages, across time, people have been thinking that Jezebel is about a woman. Why? Because Satan manipulated Eve and the one who released a sentence which shut down the flow of intimacy between the apostolic and the prophetic, it was a woman. A woman that was consulting a goddess. Reason why? The Isabel spirit has been conceived, perceived, taught even as a woman. But it's a spirit. But that spirit is using, is being conveyed easily through the one that is called 
or through the one who is, who is the carrier of the seeds of <laughs> multiplication, the seed which has to establish a legacy, the church. The church. The church. They brought the woman into the midst. And they said this. They said to him, Teacher, this woman was caught in adultery. In the very act. When they say in the adultery, which means what? This woman, she is seductive, manipulative. She's a liar. This woman, she's a destroyer. This woman does not deserve to live. Into the very act, we have a proof that she has done so. We have a proof. So, each and everyone that was carrying that woman had a proof to condemn her. Oh, if you have a proof to condemn her, you know very well. Look at what Jesus was doing. Now, and they gave the law. They said, Now Moses in the law commanded us that such should be stoned. But what do you say? Oh, what do you say? The motive here was not to proclaim the word of God because you to, to proclaim and to live by the word of God. You cannot, you can proclaim, but if you don't live by what you are proclaiming, you are the likeness of serpent. Reason why the church has been where it is today. Reason why Jesus Christ kept quiet. They wanted to call now Jesus Christ into their camp because them they've been proclaiming without living by what Jesus said. And Moses has codified into the law. Mm -hmm. They've been with this woman into fornication, into other, into secret, but proclaiming the law of Moses in public. And Jesus was only questioning their life in secret. The life in secret is the apostolic in you and me. The life in secret, that is the apostolic in each and every one of us. The life in secret is what matters because the life in secret will define your action into public. If you can see that your action into public does not impact the life of people, check your life in secret. Who are you in secret? Because it's what you are through in secret which will now define the propensity, the potency, the propelling, the everlasting of your action in public in order to establish a divine legacy. But when your life in secret, that is your apostolic, is weak, is corrupted, your prophetic, your action will be more of entertainment. You will gather many people, but without releasing any legacy, without changing their destiny. We've seen it in our land here. This is why you see more prophetic came out, but without action. No life of people being changed. After what people have been destroyed. The church has been weakened. The land has been corrupted. That is the dichotomy. That is the, what the church is, what Jezebel has managed to do to the church today. The law is there, but we are not observing it. But we are using it as a coverage in order for us to entertain and to attract more people. Yes, people of God. Is what is taking place right now in the church. They said, this they said, testing him all they might have something of which to accuse him. But Jesus stooped down and wrote on the ground. They came with the woman. All of them surrounding the woman. And all of them, they were sharing the same ground. Those that are manipulating. And those that are victims. Those that are accusing and the accuser. All of them sharing the same ground in front of the master. Hmm. The accuser and the accused, all of them, is what our senior prophet, the general of God, T.B. Joshua, is taught, saying about the pot and the cattle, all of us facing the same heat. Yes, of blessed memory, my general, you are living on in Jesus' name. Yes, by God's grace, we shall celebrate your life. Yes long life and lay in peace my general the accuser and the accused all of them sharing the same ground when Jesus saw them 
it went down it went down it never it went down it went down it went down it went it went down to speak to the ground to speak to the dust to speak to the soil to speak to what they're coming from to where they're coming from to what they are being focused on because they are focused on the work of the flesh. He spoke, he went down to do what? To silence the speaking, the bite of Jezebel, the bite of the serpent, to silence, to destroy the works, the works which has brought forth the likeness of the serpent in both of them. The accuser and the accused, all of them at the same ground. Because all of you, you are doing the same things in secret. Mm. But coming with the same likeness in public. Yet, yet, this one accusing another one. Whereas we are the same in secret. He went to speak to the ground. He went to speak as an apostle. As an apostle, he spoke to the ground. And as a prophet, he fixed. The narrative which was perpetuating which was enabling jezebel to carry on his works into the church yes the priest in the church doing the wrong in secret and coming accusing now pointing his finger into the church the priest accusing accusing the woman the elders the people accusing the woman the woman who birthed them, the woman who is feeding them, the woman who is being considered in secret as the object of their pleasure. Now you want me to destroy her. So by destroying her, I will drain your camp. By destroying her, I will drain you. By destroying her, I will cover your mess. By justifying her, I will drain her. By justifying her in public, I will corroborate what she's doing in, in secret. Can you see what to do? I have to fix. I have to fix the battle by the gate. I have to fix what has been brought forth into the church. I have to nullify the saying, the accusation, the condemnation of Satan, which are finding expression into the mouth of the accuser. Because the accused, once the accused has been exposed in public, you are powerless. Sins are so sweet and so indulging when they're being covered but once the sin has been exposed mm, you are being stripped off you are naked you are being made powerless is what they've done most of the time people are accusing the most check their life you'll see that they're having they are so corrupted than those that are accusing there were so many. It, what they've done is so is mightier than what, what they've accusing only one person. Look at now what Jesus said. But Jesus stooped down and wrote on the ground with his finger, as though he did not hear. All the time, people of God understand that you are the apostle and the prophet God has appointed in your family in your vicinity, in your community, in your lifetime, in your church, in your generation, depending on the grace released upon you. The more you will do the will of God into a very small microcosm, the greater the expansion will be coming as time goes by. When he did so, look at what the Bible said. So when they continue asking him, he raised himself up and said to them, People of God, when you are into the path of righteousness all the time, the pressure will come on you. Satan will come on you in order to take you in his camp. First accusation, people will say whatever upon you, even your own kind. They will say what well, they will suspect you. Bible says, he kept quiet. He kept quiet. You keep on fixing the narrative in order to heal the ground. In order to heal the land. Because whatever they've been doing, all their action has puzzled the ground. The reason why many are attacking easily those that are doing the right. Those that are following the path of righteousness. 
Why? Because the ground has been poisoned. He who is. So when they continue asking him, he raised himself up and said to them, He who is without sin among you, let him throw a stone at her first. Look at this sentence is a call up. This sentence only is a call up. He spoke to their heart. There is a way to speak to a hardened heart. There is a way to speak to a dull heart. He is to release the truth. To call and to expose and to call into manifestation what they are doing in secret. What they are doing into their thought, into their heart and into their secret place. No one cannot deny it. When he said so, the Bible said, from who? And again, he stood up down and wrote on the ground. After saying so, he continued. Then those who heard it, being convicted by their conscience, being convicted by their conscience, went out one by one, beginning with the oldest, even to the last. And Jesus was left alone, and the woman standing in the midst. Ah. Ah, remember he was teaching into the church. Then they came. When now he says so, all the church, all of them, they left him. Only him and the woman. The whole church went out. Even those that he was, uh, he was teaching to them before. All of them. Why? Because each and every has been called to, re to reality, to the light, to their consciousness. There is a light in man that no one, even Satan cannot touch, cannot corrupt. It's the light of consciousness. Is that light which qualifies us to accept, to obey, to embrace the light, the first stage of the light of man, which is the repentance? When he said so, all of them, they've done a mea culpa. All of them, they've, they've been called into, 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 into confession. Each and every said, I have done this also in secret. No one never ever saw. No one never ever exposed me. No one never ever condemned me. Therefore, will I be able to stone this woman? Though the law said so. Ah! Ah! So, that day, each and every deviated from the five eyes of Satan. Deviated from his pride, from his self-righteousness. Yes. Each and everyone said, no, 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 no. I cannot because I know what I'm doing in secret. They left Jesus Christ with that woman alone. The church has been called to one-on-one -on -one relationship with God now. You are the church, I'm the church. We are being called to one-on-one -on -one relationship in order for us to reconcile with others. Yes. There is no time to condemn the forefathers. There is no time. No, no. God is telling you, you me stand one on one relationship you are the reflection you are the image of god are you still carrying the likeness of god or you're expressing the likeness of serpent yes if truly in you there is no likeness of serpent be the one to first the first to take the stone and hit the head of the serpent which you are seeing in others which you are seeing into the forefathers which you are seeing into the first move, the first revival. Yes, people of God, the evangelical revival, the pastoral, the prophetical. Yes, mm -hmm. the doctoral revival. God is telling you and me today on one on one. Women, church, we are those accusers of yours. Has no one condemned you? God has called us to order. Never condemn the church thus far because he's still giving us opportunity. God has released this. What Satan, what Jezebel released as a power to conquer the church. God has worked out ways in order to call us back into intimacy again. I say, I'm not condemning you. I'm not accusing you. Those accusers of yours, they said, by destroying your gathering, by destroying your church, by killing your pastors, 
by exposing the nakedness of your, your fathers in the Lord. He will destroy you. But I'm giving you opportunity today to tell you I'm not condemning you neither. Go and sin no more. Go and sin no more. Go and do not embark in the same journey. Go in and do not allow this anymore. Give me totally your heart because I'm ready to reset. Yes, people of God. That day, it was the fulfillment of what God said to Solomon. Is what Jesus was writing down in front of them. It was because it was also into the, the law. It was a law. It was what Jesus was writing. They saw it, it was what they left. What were, Jesus was writing is what is in the book of Second Chronic, Chronicles 7, 14. Yes, people of God. Is because he was writing it in front of them. Second Chronicles 7 is what Jesus was writing that day. Because it was codified into the law. Yes. That word has been told to Solomon by God. And it was into the laws. Taught into synagogue. And Jesus was writing to them that day. He went down. He went down in front of them. Remember when they came, he went down. He was writing to them. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, will humble themselves, will humble themselves and pray. Because we are in the synagogue, we are being taught the word, the ways of God and pray. If my people who are called by man, this is not a this is a word God has taught to Solomon. Ways of how to reconcile with him, ways on how to destroy Jezebel at any given time. He said, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face. Jesus was front of them. He never turned their back, his back on them. He faced them face to face and seek my face. You cannot confess and repent to someone who don't see, you don't know. This is why sometimes you have to see your man of God as God convinces you and open up. Because repentance is a matter of heart to heart. Repentance is a conversation in between the one who knows everything about you in secret and in public God and what you know. The two of you is a conversation of face to face. It's not about manipulation. The more you manipulate, is Satan sending a messenger from pit of hell in order to delay your restoration into intimacy. He said, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my faith and turn from their wicked ways. The trading which took place in the church, the trading, the selling and the buying, and the trading which took place into the church has brought wicked ways. Wicked ways are coming from what? From the five eyes of Satan, revealed to us in the book of Isaiah 14, verse 12 and 13. All these wicked ways has brought, has dislodged the place of God is what brought adultery into the church. The church has become a, a defiled woman. It's become a place of fornication, a place of corruption, a place of manipulation, a place whereby there is a manifestation of magic, wizardry, mm, occultism, witchcraft, Yes, people of God. All these manipulations which took place in the church, these are wicked ways. Satan has managed to corrupt all the manifestation, all the action of God. But God is telling us, and this has done what? Has corrupt not only humankind, even the territory, the land God has given to mankind. Because there is no manifestation if you don't own the ground. All these powers which are fighting us, they are having ground. Isn't why we have to tell you the ministry is not yet 
release as long as you don't own the ground yet because any spirit is is the owner of a ground until you dislodge him then when you are owning your own ground you will see the impact changing thereof because now we are applying you are into al alignment with principle with, with spiritual laws reason why satan is making sure that many churches don't have their own place is a plot from pit of hell you have to understand that look at now they continue what the sentence he was writing to them then i will hear from heaven my face and turn from their wicked ways then i will hear from heaven and i will forgive their sin and heal the land The finger of God has been that day not rose, released into judgment, but came to release the narrative by the gates in order to restore the church, to restore the legacy, to restore generation, to restore the intimacy, to restore the release of the role divinity into the apostolic and prophetic in order to conquer Jezebel in this end time. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven. Then I will hear from heaven. From heaven where Satan conceived, from where Lucifer conceived the five eyes in his heart written in the book of Isaiah. It was it has been released in the place where Jezebel has been conceived and released his doctrine from that anyone that confess, repent totally. God will hear not from your place but from heaven. So what he will shut down whatever Satan conceived in order to reset you totally into divinity. The time has come. This lockdown is an opportunity God has given us now to shut down the doctrine of Jezebel. To shut down the bite of the serpent, which, which are manipulation, which are wicked ways, which came to infect the, uh, uh, the prophetic. God is telling you and me today, the time has come, my time has come, is into the now. Yes. The power God has given you and me to the church is the power of repentance. The power into the repentance. Repentance is a blessing. Repentance is power. Repentance is the weapon which silences the narrative of Jezebel. Repentance is the power which sets you free from all the manipulation of the magic. Repentance is power which suspends and destroys the work of witchcraft. Repentance makes of you untouchable in the midst of the occultism, in the midst of uh, Illuminati. Repentance recalled into you, recalled into humankind, into church, the divinity, the raw divinity into the doctrine and manifestation of the act of God, that is the apostolic and the prophetic. Repentance is the power which makes heaven to be into our midst for God to hear us. Repentance is the power Jezebel has stolen from the church. Yes, people of God, repentance is what Jezebel is denying and stolen to the church. Reason why we cannot forgive one another, we cannot forgive the forefathers, we cannot let go of the past, we cannot reconcile with ourselves, with others. Why? Satan has manipulated our ways. We are only best into accusing. We become accusers. We are pointing fingers. We are only perpetuating the works of Jezebel. Thinking that we've been appointed by God to judge others. Jesus never judged. Neither those have been accused. The accusers, he never judged, neither condemned the accused. But he called them and healed them into repentance. He called them into repentance by healing them and healing the land for the legacy of God to continue. Yes, people of God, the time has come and is now. In Jesus' name, we are at the crossroad of destiny. This word shall find expression in your heart, in my heart, in our heart, in the heart of the church. Yes, people of God, the gate of hell shall not prevail as long as we are the one appointed. We are the one 
that humble ourselves, seek God first, repent, confess, repent, and ask for forgiveness. Yes, because God is awaiting for such in order to heal the land so that we get the place, so that we are being reset into destiny for us to continue the work of God, for us to conquer by the gate of destiny so that the gate of hell cannot prevail, shall not prevail. Let this word find the place in your place, in your heart, in your place of work, in your family, in our midst, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for everything. Oh Lord, draw them more, release them more, oh Lord. We are all yours. Father, here in Jesus' name, I stand, oh Lord. Yes, I come to you with the sins of my forefathers, with the sin of my ancestors, the sins of my grandparents, the sins of my elders, oh Lord, of my parents, of my own sins, the sins of the forefathers in churches, oh Lord. The old generation and this generation, oh Lord, I come to you. We have done so wrong to you. Father, we've embraced other ways than your ways. In Jesus' name, we are sorry. Forgive me, forgive us, O oh Lord. Forgive the church. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord. Reset us, O oh Lord, unto you for your glory. So shall it be. In Jesus' name. Amen. Shalom, shalom, people of God. May God bless you. Let this word, O oh Lord, be shared and we shall pray with it. We shall stand in the gap for the church because this is the time for personal reconciliation with God. And the more we are being reconciled personally, the more the church is healed and the land being set free from any poison and any bite of the serpent. This is the time. The gate of hell shall not prevail. And the place of Jezebel is under our feet for us to crush his head. In Jesus' name.